Hello, I am Miss Tell It Like It Is. I hope everybody's doing good out there. Miss Tell It Like It Is is doing good for a Friday night. Okay. Today's topic is going to be very strong. Okay. But I'm Miss Tell It Like It Is, so I have to tell it like it is. Okay. Today's topic is we all have one in our lives. Okay. In this world, there are some hating ass, some non-credit ass, some jealous ass, some catty ass, some deceitful, selfish ass, some not wanting to see you get anywhere ass. Haters, okay? That's right, haters. And we all have a hater. And some of us have haters, okay? But when Miss Tell It Like It Is come across a hater, okay? It doesn't matter how they feel about me. Because at the end of the day, baby... Miss Tell It Like It Is is going to pat herself on the back, baby. At the end of the day, Miss Tell It Like It Is is going to love herself, okay? Because why? Miss Tell It Like It Is is the it in the shit, okay? There is no one in this world like me. I'm the only one with my own DNA. Okay, and that's how you have to feel about yourself. When there are people in your life that hate you without a cause, that is jealous of you, that do not want to see you succeed in your life, that's always putting you down, trying to tear your self-esteem down, baby, you have to tell yourself that you are the it in the shit, baby. And there is none like you. There is none with the same DNA as you have. You have to believe in yourself. You have to love you, okay? You don't have to have somebody to validate who you are in order to feel important about yourself. Baby, feel important about yourself because you are you, baby. And there is no one in the entire world that has your DNA, okay? And let me tell you, a lot of times you may wonder, why is this person hating on me? Why is this person trying to hold me back? Why do I hear things that these people or this person is always talking about me behind my back? Why is this person always looking crazy sideways? Okay. And let me tell you, okay, because I grew up. Some parts of my life in the inner city of Detroit, Michigan, was born there, okay? And I could tell you, growing up, I didn't fit in, baby. I didn't fit in. I was the eyeball, okay? There were some kids that liked me, but there was a lot of kids that didn't, okay? And I used to ask my auntie, I used to ask her all the time, why do the kids not like me? Okay. And it didn't matter how much I tried to fit in, baby. I just didn't fit in. And I realized today why. Because I couldn't be them, baby. And they couldn't be me. Okay. And that was an issue because some of them had a problem because I had a smile on my face. Some of them had a problem because I had joy. Some of them had a problem because I had an auntie and a dad who loved me, okay? And they didn't. Some of them had a problem because I had personality and I could get along with people and they couldn't. And some of them... Just had a problem with my looks, how I look. But guess what? Back then, as, as a teenager, it started from when I was a kid, a teenager, a younger adult, even somewhat up to now. Back then, I couldn't understand 
what is going on? Why does this person hate me without a cause? Why do I hear people saying that this person said this and that about me? Why is this person grinning in my face, but I know they're talking about me behind my back? I felt bad growing up. I tried to fit in, but guess what? I realize now, baby, it wasn't meant for me to fit in. Why? Because I am a one. I am an original, okay? And when you don't fit in, baby, you can't feel bad, even, even as a grown-up. Just realize you are one. You are an original, baby. You are you, okay? And there go be people in this world that do not understand you, period. They do not understand your personality. They do not understand your goals. They do not understand your dreams. They do not understand why you wear your hair, why you dress the way you do, why you talk the way you do. There are going to be people in this world that just do not like you. And you don't have to do a damn thing to them, baby. But nevertheless, hold your head up high. Do not allow anybody to beat down your self-esteem. If they don't like you, oh well, oh hell, okay? If they don't like you, baby, embrace yourself even the more and love you even the more, okay? Because at the end of the day, baby, you have something that they want. And that's what my auntie used to always tell me. Growing up, I used to always be like, Aunt Nini. Because that's what her name was. Her name was Onita. Okay. A great school teacher for many years. But I used to ask her, Aunt Nini, why do the kids not like me? Why do some kids pick on me? And she said to me, baby, Simply because you have something that they don't. And some of them want to be like you and can't be you. So they chose to hate you. But she used to always say, nevertheless, hold your head up high. And know that it is okay to be different. Know that it is okay to not to fit in. Know it's okay to be your own personality and your own individual. And that is why I, I can thank her. Sometimes she was really strict, baby. She was like, oh, like Mr. Clark on Lean On Me. Oh, yeah. All the kids that was like in little gangs and stuff was put in my aunt's class. Okay. And my aunt was, oh, she was tough. She broke them down, baby. But when she broke them down, she built a lot of them up. She loved them with tough love because they were tough kids, okay? By the time I got in middle school, I talked like my auntie. I walked like my auntie. I mean, she rubbed off on me a lot. So a lot of kids was like, are you related to Miss Lewis? And I was like, that's my auntie. And it was like, oh, how you live with her? You live with her? I was like, yes. And I'm not lying. My auntie, she was tough. But guess what? I appreciate her. Because why? Her being so tough made me tough, okay? It made me tough. It made me be able to take Anything that a person threw at me. It made me be able to know that, hey, just because a person doesn't like you, so the hell what, baby? Keep on strutting your stuff like a peacock, baby. With your wings spread high. And feeling good about yourself. Because at the end of the day, they don't define you. And that's how I feel about myself to this day, baby. At the end of the day, Miss Tell Like It is love herself. Okay? I'm not conceited. 
I'm confident. It's a big difference. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I don't have no more than nobody else has. Okay? I'm down to earth. I don't think I'm all of that. Okay? But guess what? I know I'm important. Okay? And I know that there is nothing wrong with being me. Okay? And I know I will never, ever, ever totally just fit in with anybody. But that's okay. I have come to accept the reality. And you you have to come to accept reality. For you all out there that want someone to stand behind you and support you. And you think they love you. You think they care about you. And all alone. They're the enemy in your bosom trying to destroy you, trying to tear you down. But God keeps holding you up. He keeps protecting you from that devil that you're not aware of. When there are those in your circle that say they want so much for you, they want to see you make it, and then you find out that something you told someone else that you thought that they would never tell, you heard it from someone else's mouth, and they were the only one you told, and they promised you they wouldn't tell, and then they talked about you behind someone back, and then you have to hear it from someone, and you thought this was your best friend. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what I learned, TikTok? There are very few friends in this world, but there are many associates, okay? For me to call you a damn friend, baby, you have to earn that with me. Because I've learned over the years <laughs> that they're, the people you call your friends really be a snake, a deceitful snake that you trust. And if you turn your back long enough, they will bite you from behind because they don't even have the nerve to bite you from the front because they are cowards. And they want to throw a rock and hide their hand. And some of them are too doggone ashamed to just tell you in your face. I don't like you. See, another thing, if I have someone that don't like me, I'd rather know it. Don't pretend with me. Don't act like you like me. You want something for me. Oh, I got your back. I'm supporting you. And all alone, you know you can't stand my guts. I'd rather for you to just be what you are. And then you go your way and I go my way. And at the end of the day, we have nothing to each other to say. But saying that, no matter what age you are, whether you're a child, whether you're an adolescent, whether you're a young adult, middle age, older or old baby, love you, believe in you. Don't look for satisfaction in the arms of flesh because the word says the arms of flesh will fail you but God will never fail you don't look for validation in people to say job well done I'm proud of you pat your own self on the back and say job well done I'm proud of you love you baby because at the end of the day, baby, if you don't love yourself, who will? And I, can, I have a saying, there's no one who can love you better than you can love yourself. And when you have people that hate you without a cause and cannot love you, that's because they do not love themselves. They, the they, they have the inability to love themselves so they can't love anybody else. 
And they are jealous of you because you can love yourself and you can love others. And saying that I miss tell it like it is, tell it like it is, I'ma tell it like it is, I'ma tell it like it is, I'ma tell it like it is, I just told it like it is, I'ma tell it like it is, and now this is the end. Tulu, have a great night. <laughs> Be safe on this Friday night, you all. Okay? I'm out.